Do you want to learn how to tell your man what you want and get it? Anyone who's been in a relationship will know how depleting and heart-dropping it can feel when our standards and desires are not being met. The thing is, most of the time, by the time we finally know what we want or we're finally ready to tell a man what is or isn't working for us, there is a good chance you're feeling annoyed, perhaps angry and frustrated. And instead of being clear and confident about your relationship standards and values, frustration gets the better of you, which tends to create more drama and stops you from being heard and properly seen. Stay with me as I'm about to share a four step process that reveals exactly how to communicate your needs with a man in a way that gives you a very good chance of getting what you want. I think you might be surprised by numbers two and four, so be sure to stay till the end as each of these four points work together to make sure your relationship prayers are answered. If you're new to the channel, I'm Nadine Piet, a confidence, dating, and lasting attraction coach for smart, savvy women, and the founder of Healthy You, Healthy Love. Now, before we continue, please be sure to comment below and let me know if there's anything specific that you'd like help with, and if there's a topic you'd like me to do a video on. I want to find out who you are and what your needs are so I can support you on your path to big, sexy love. And when it comes to this topic, please share with me in the comments your own journey with expressing what you value and need in a relationship. Now let's get to it. Here are my four powerful ways to finally be heard and seen by your man and get what you want without lashing out or letting your ego run your love life. And first, I wanna clarify something here. This process is not just about getting what you want. This video is about both of you getting what you want so that you can truly be in a united and intimate partnership. It's all about giving and receiving from both sides. So let's start with number one, stop the nagging and hinting and say what's on your mind and speak out from the heart. Women often nag and hint because they're scared to ask for what they really want and fear either hearing no from their man or they worry they'll seem needy. Sure, sometimes nagging and hinting works, but mostly it's a no-go. Regardless, over time, nagging is something that men don't hear. No one likes it, not you or me. If you're a parent, you'll know what it's like to have a nagging and complaining child. Most parents tune out and the nags fall on deaf ears. So no point doing this with an adult man. If you continually find yourself nagging or waging a passive-aggressive war of half-spoken words, then you need to step back and look within yourself at what you really want. Many of us are tempted to get things off our chest as soon as we think them, but it's much better for romance if you sit with what you want before you say it, which leads to number two. Before you ask for anything, do what I call a request audit. Look before you leap and ask yourself, What's going on with me deep down? Is what I want from him fair and reasonable or is this something that I need to resolve on my own privately? For example, asking your man to compliment you multiple times a day or asking him to call you every lunch hour may not be what I would call a reasonable request. What is reasonable is to be in a relationship with a man who regularly shows you affection and appreciation and it is also reasonable to ask a man to call you when he says he will or even to communicate more frequently if he rarely contacts you. Whenever you have the urge to nag or ask your man to do something then write down a list of why you think you need him to do something differently. You'll soon get a good idea if it's a we concern or a me concern. You see, there are non-negotiable standards that we all need to feel a sense of mutual respect in a relationship that needs two people to work together to create. And this is what's good to get a handle on before you start making requests. Another way of saying this is, is what I want a mission to satisfy my fragile ego or is it a reasonable partnership request? Is it a needy request or a values-based request? If it's a reasonable partnership request, then sharing this with your partner in an effective way will allow the two of you to bond and strengthen your connection. It's a win-win. 
To get you started with getting what you want, I have a great free gift that shares common and often unconscious things people say that stops them from having their needs met. Check out my free report, Word Poison. I reveal 16 words and phrases that can ruin intimacy and blocks partnership. Basically, there's a very good chance you won't get what you want if you use these kinds of words with your man. This relationship advice is a love saver and you'll find the link to my Word Poison gift in the description below. So what's next? Number three, delivery is golden. Successful communication isn't just about saying what you want, it's how you say it. If you're ready to get what you want from him or anyone really, then you need to consider the nitty gritty of how you're communicating. Pay attention to your tone. When you make your request, be sure your tone of voice stays non-confrontational. Studies have shown that our tone of voice when we make requests can affect the way our words are received. Remember, when we come from a place of confidence and honesty, we're likely to be heard in the same spirit. So don't be a dictator, be a communicator. Speak from your heart with a sense of trust and faith rather than in your head where fear and insecurity love to play. Before you talk to him, do some deep belly breathing to ground yourself. Also, while you're speaking with him, remember to breathe. This will allow you to be present and more at peace with yourself and the situation. Be sure to keep your body language open as you share your thoughts. Keep your posture relaxed and your arms open. Welcome him into your space and don't close yourself off. Get on his level and don't stand over him while he sits. You'll be amazed at how receptive people are when we amend these things. Okay, now that we've laid the groundwork, next I want you to invite him into the solution. Don't dictate. Many men love to problem solve and one of the best ways to get him on side is to invite him to work on a solution with you and start simple. Take it one wee concern at a time and avoid going on the attack. Keep in mind that this is the time for open and honest communication, not demands, threats or ultimatums. For example, maybe you want your man to start helping more with the laundry. Rather than ordering him to change, invite him into the conversation and into the solution. For example, hey, do you think we can talk about something? Or hey, there is something I've been thinking about that I'd love to work out together. Next, involve him further into the conversation. I really appreciate all that you do around the house. Thank you so much. Or, I love how dedicated you are to your hobbies. I love your passion. Then present your need, but choose your words carefully. Avoid anger triggering words like however or but. These are guaranteed to get his back up immediately. Embrace connection and choose simple words like and as you introduce your ask. If I expand on the first example, you could say, I really appreciate all that you do around the house. Thank you so much. And as part of that, I have wondered if we could work out how to manage the laundry a bit better as I'm struggling with getting it done on my own. Follow this up by giving him context. Everyone feels better about doing things when they understand the why. Be sure to include the because as he will see why this is such a great proposition. Everyone feels better about doing things when they understand the why. Be sure to include the because as he will see why this is such a great proposition. I'm bringing this up because I think we would have much more free time to have fun on the weekends if we work together on this. Also, I'll feel less stressed during the week and be more enjoyable to be around. Always add a little bit of humor when possible. Remember what I said above, relationships won't thrive when they are a dictatorship. So change tack, leave the nagging behind and instead work as a team to problem solve and he will begin to see that listening to your requests is another way for him to show his commitment and care. So there you have it, four ways to get your values met and to bond with your man through reasonable requests and mutual understanding. Learning the skills for good communication is key in every relationship. That's why if you haven't yet, I suggest you get on board with my program Never Lose Him. It's a multi step program that takes a 
deep dive into the ways you express yourself that might be hindering your relationship. I share powerful and practical relationship advice about how to make him like you in a new and deeper way. You can find the link to Never Lose Him in the description below. That's it for today. Again, I'm Nadine Peart. Thank you for spending this time with me and remember to show love every day in some special way. I look forward to seeing you at my next video and don't forget to take a second to like this video by clicking the thumbs up icon and please comment below. I'd love to hear from you. While you're at it, click the subscribe button and the bell button to get notified when my newest video is out and I can't wait to see you there.